This episode is brought to you by the Public Investing app. Hit that link in the top comment to get up to $70 in free stock. But without further ado, this is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now hit that like button, show your boy some love. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. Let's get straight to the point. Subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list is the beast, the big dog, the juggernaut. It's Apple, ticker symbol A-A-P-L. Now, I've been seeing a lot of your accounts, and I'm noticing that you don't have a strong foundation in your account. So what I need to see is a big dog, a beast, a banger like Apple in your account. But I jam packed this one bangers, so I hope you bought your oven mitts, baby. Now, let's talk about the puts and the call options like we always do. So the last call option that we ran in August on Apple, this one ran up basically $277. Shout out to the Discord fam on that. We looking to run more in the future so we can see if we could get in at a price. Because you know if I see a price, I like our strike. Now, we still in a lucid call option, but again, you could take profit on that you know that one ran up to but let's talk about it if you want to be up on the plays as early as we are hit that discord link in the top comment we're gonna welcome you with open arms but what's going on with apple apple is currently basically 154 dollars it's basically flat on a day it's up three percent in the past week and it's up 35 percent this year so now one of the reasons why i'm bringing up apple is because so many people are in all of these hot plays and they have no stability in their account so in order to be able to handle the heat you got to have a strong foundation, a strong backbone. It got to be as simple as that. Ask yourself this. Is your whole account up 35%? If not, if you would have just been straight up in Apple, you would have been up 35%. You see what I'm saying? You need a strong foundation. So when your hot stocks is coming down, then something like this is keeping you in the green at least long term. So then you can handle the heat, baby. Now, what's going on with them specifically? Take a look at this. The iPhone 13 release date is around the corner. It's coming soon. These are in all of the rumors. This was posted September 6th at basically 1.05 p.m. Why are they thinking that? Let's look at the last few iPhone release dates. You know the line is going to be around the corner, and it's this. The iPhone 7 came out in September. iPhone 8, September. The iPhone X, November. The iPhone 11, September. The iPhone 12, October. Guess what, family? The iPhone 13, or whatever they're going to call it, is coming around the corner. You can just imagine that. So then, let's look at what else is coming out. There are rumors that came out today that the Apple Watch Series 7 is coming out today. Or not today. The rumor came out today, but it's coming out. You know, we keep it real. We keep it raw, baby. The rumor is that this thing is coming out, too. So you got to be on the lookout for that. Why is this important? Because together, the watch and the phone are over 60% of Apple's total revenue. 9% of the watch, and then 54% is the iPhone of the whole revenue of Apple. Come on now, that's a lot. And then you wanna get in basically even before they get this iPhone car, Apple car, whatever they're gonna call it, you wanna get in long before that come out, family. Come on now, cause you know when they come out with a car, this is gonna take Apple straight to the moon. Come on now. And the rumors came out September 3rd that guess what's happening with Apple. Now, their autonomous test driving permit was received by the DMV family. Come on now. They really pushing it forward with this. So, what's going on? You know I had to check the dark pool to see what was happening because every time we going into AMC, this, that, and the third, we want to see what's going on with the dark pool. So I just said, you know what? Let's see what's happening on Apple. And then about $24 billion in net buying of Apple is happening over on the dark pool. Why is this even relevant? Because think about it. AMC, at a point, there was $30 billion in net buying of AMC over on the dark pool. Apple is like a hundred times bigger of a company. So this is crazy in comparison for them to even be close to each other. What are the price targets on Apple? Price targets are this. You know you always got to have a hater. And they said that it's going down to 132 on the low. They said that it's going to 165 on the median. And they said it's going to 185 on the high. But 24 stock analysts rated this one. 18 of them said this was a strong buy as is. However, I want you to pay attention to these key levels. The first key level is a support line, and this is 151. If we break under this, we could be on a downtrend, but don't be afraid to ride the wave down with a put option, baby. But you got to know what you're doing. Hit that Discord link in the top comment. But let's talk about it. If we go past the 155, then we could be on an uptrend family and ride the wave up with call options. Now, let's keep it going. But either way, you want to load up on Apple, not financial advice. But if there ever was any financial advice, this is the closest thing to it that you're going to hear. Apple is a beast, a big dog, a banger, and a strong foundation for your portfolio. Now, next banger on the list is a hot one. Family, could you feel the heat in the kitchen? Ooh, it's hot. You might get popped with this one. But it's BBIG, and it's Venco Ventures. This is a swing trade. This is a get in, get up, get out. You rinse, and you repeat. Don't get married to this. This is a swing. 
But, and this is also a volume play, and I'll explain what I'm talking about. Notice that Venco Ventures is down, basically 3% after hours. On the week, it's down 15%. And basically on the month, it's up 167%, family, but it came down, it cooled off a little bit, giving us another chance to say, is this the time to get in? Now, what's going on with them? FXS, they just posted an article, and they said this. The news for the stock forecast is basically saying that this is tailor-made for a short interest play from retail traders. And then they said it broke out in the beginning of August, but now it's cooled off. Let's look at the details. It said BBIG, the stock kicked off. And this is some history on the stock. The stock kicked off back in January with GameStop when that first kicked off. And then it said it went from over a dollar to all the way up to $10. And then this happened in a matter of days. And then it steadily retraced all the way back down, came all the way down to $2. This is why you can't be afraid to ride a put option on some of these plays as well, which means you bet that it's going to go down and you make money as it goes down further and further. But you might want to get into a call too. Stay tuned. But here we go. Then it exploded again in August, all the way back up to 11 90 family and then it said the current short interest at least when this was posted was about 42 but that differs depending on what source you look at and then it said the volume has been way above normal remember this is a volume play what does that mean you need a lot of volume in order for this one to really swing so now let's go into the key statistics on the three month average how many of these were traded the volume take a look at this 32 million is the three month average but then you go one under that in purple it says 216 216 million is the average of the last 10 days why is this number important family they're saying in the last 10 days on average 216 million shares were traded on a company that only has how many shares outstanding how many shares exist 69 million shares exist family so that means multiple of all of the shares that exist were being traded in just a day family come on now that's crazy but you can't even trade all of the shares outstanding you can only trade the free float what does that mean that means that there are currently 49 million shares in the free float and then the average volume being traded in the last 10 days was 216 family come on now multiples and multiples of the free float was being traded in, in one single day and then you look at the ownership breakdown you'll notice that what is held by insiders 13 percent what is held by institutions 6.7 or 6.27 percent so this means this is one of those plays where the retailers own a lot of the shares and then you look at the short interest this one is telling us as of august 13th it was 21 percent meaning that there was 7.82 shares being or million shares being shorted on a company family come on now now let's look at the most updated short interest and things like that from three days ago and it says this shout out to eeyore on twitter he said that there's 76 million dollars worth of shares being shorted and then you know what this is 9.49 million shares being shorted totally at an 18.34% short interest. And now the fee to basically borrow new shares to short them into the market is through the roof at 77%. So then the short sellers have to pay these huge interest rates, family, to hold on and to short more shares into the market. So this is setting us up for a rocket potentially. But remember, short sellers, something about them, they like wasting money. So then they be willing to just hold on to try to shake you out. But let's keep it going. The shortest shares, they're down 2 million. So there was some covering. So you remember how it went up and it rocketed all the way up to like 1190? This is some of the shares being shorted, but that was only 14 million. Keep in mind, there's still 76 million shares that they have to buy. Why do you care about short interest? The short interest tells you that there are 18.34% short of the free float. These are guaranteed buyers, family. Whenever you have shorts in a play, they have to buy it back eventually. This is why we care how many shorts are in it and what is the short percentage. Because again, short sellers are guaranteed buyers in the future. Now, let's keep it going. We want to see what's going on in the dark pool. There's about 547 million in net selling of this stock over in the dark pool. Pay attention to these key levels. First one is in the middle. It's 860. We want to break above that so then we can head back up towards all-time highs. If we see it head towards 11, family, just know we are on a rocket. But if we head over 12, we really on a rocket. And then if it breaks under this 685, family, we might be on a crazy downtrend and we'd be willing to ride a put option. Bam, ride it down. Now, the next banger on the list is NEO. Pay attention to these key levels, family. The first one being 
39. If it breaks under that, again, we might be willing to ride the wave down on a put option. And then if it goes all the way down to 36, then this is a strong support. So it's telling you, okay, it's okay to jump out of a put option down here. And then if we get over to 41, we could be on a strong uptrend, baby. Now, let's get to the next banger. It's AMC. AMC is up 31% in the last month. And let's look at these key levels. We got 42. We're trying to stay above this 42 level of support. We want to break above the 45 so then we can start to rock it a little bit. And then we want to break above the 48 so we can really start taking off, baby. That's what we're looking for. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks and stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds i see you in the next one i see you on the live in the morning i love y'all take care